Welcome to the Vinyl Buffet. I'm Cody. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about my record cleaning routine. This is the process I used whenever I want to clean up my old records that I've picked up, dollar bin finds that I come across, and also just any used stuff that's in rough condition. I'm also going to talk about my recent pickups. A few weeks back, we had the good fortune to go to Springfield, Missouri to visit friends. And while we were out there, we went to CD Warehouse. And now their location is going to be going out of business very shortly uh, after many years in business. So we had a chance to go through their racks of CDs, DVDs, music DVDs, and also LPs. So we'll talk about that. So here are my tools that I'm actually using to clean vinyl. I have a four inch paint edger and a four inch foam brush. Also have this little dispenser here that is filled with distilled water and a couple caps of 70% isopropyl alcohol and a couple drops of dishwashing detergent. So then I'm gonna show you my little area over here. Got a nice towel at the base there, then a, a microfiber towel above it. That's kind of used where I'm gonna lay the record. And then over there to the left, that is a teal colored microfiber towel. That's actually what I'm gonna be using to dry the records. All right, so now we're gonna get down to business cleaning this record. It is a copy of 2001 A Space Odyssey soundtrack. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply our liquid here, which is again, um, distilled water, 70% isopropyl alcohol, just a couple caps of that, and also the dish detergent. Um, it's very, very thin. Uh, there's not really much to it. You'll get a little bit of bubbles when you shake it up. Um, I'm basically using the foam brush here to spread the uh, cleaner around on the record. Sometimes I'm having to hold the center down because it wants to kind of jump off my little plate there. So there's no real science to that, just make sure that it's wet. Then put the edger on it. Um, I go three turns clockwise, um, just kind of holding the record in place, doing my clockwise turn dance around my hand there. Uh, then I'm gonna hit the end there, my three turns, lift it up, and then I'm gonna go the other direction. Um, just make sure that it looks like it's kind of spreading out. If I need to add more water, I'll add more water. Um, not really much to it other than this. Um, at the end here, I think I may have went an extra turn, who knows, kind of lost count. Now we're gonna go ahead and dry the record. Um, I'm kind of holding the record down and kind of moving the towel in a direction that is not like harshly against the grooves. Um, it's not gonna get it like 100% dry, but I'm ready to flip it over and start on the other side. So we're just gonna repeat the exact same process. Maybe tell you a little bit about um, some of the results I've seen from this. Um, it doesn't really do much for scratches, obviously. It's never going to. Um, but some of my dirtier records uh, have come out looking pretty good, sounding pretty good. So I've been impressed with this method so far. Um, I'm always open to suggestions and tweaks. I know I could be using um, a little bit more um, of the dish detergent or the isopropyl alcohol. It's super thin. I really just want to kind of keep it like this for now until I find something uh, better or I'm, I'm told something better. I've just been researching it for a while. Um, I'm also not rinsing these. I'm just kind of letting them go as is and letting them air dry, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, but yeah, the, I think if I were to use anything more concentrated or heavy duty, I would need to go through another uh, rinse cycle to try to get that stuff out of the grooves and keep it from drying in the grooves. So basically at this point, I'm going to then pick the record up and start to dry it as I'm kind of holding it. Just do like a final buff on each side here, making sure that I get a lot of the hairs off or anything that I see sticking onto it. Um, then kind of look at it, make sure I'm good with it, then put it in the rack and wait a few hours to re-sleeve it. Now I'm gonna show you some of my vinyl pickups from CD Warehouse. Um, 
just going to give you a little brief overview of each, um, say a few words about them, and after I listen to them, I'll probably end up doing a little bit longer report on some of my faves. So the first thing I've got is this Diarrhea Planet Turn Gold. Um, Diarrhea Planet was at Lufest in 2016. We did not see them, but I'm kind of curious about their sound. Uh, from 2017, Death From Above, Outrage Is Now. This is a record I really wanted to pick up because I have their first one, uh, You're a Woman, I'm a Machine, uh, and I kind of want to get back on these guys and check them out. This is Colts. Um, we got to see Colts in 2012 at Lufest. Um, not a band that I've really kept up with. My wife really likes them. So, be listening to that eventually. I hope I'm saying this one right. Uh, I'm going to try Basia Bulat, um, or Basia Bulat. I, I really don't know how her name is pronounced, but I did listen to some of the sample of this, and it sounds pretty cool. Uh, this is an album uh, called The Two Bears. This is kind of uh, hot chip adjacent, and I'm really looking forward to listening to this. Uh, and the last one is uh, Check, 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 uh, their album As If. So it has this cool monkey on it. That's about all I can really say about it right now. Um, but I look forward to listening to all of these. That about does it for today's episode of The Vinyl Buffet. We'll be back in a couple weeks when I talk about more pickups uh, that I haven't even talked about yet. Um, today's CD Warehouse pickups were just like the tip of the iceberg lately. I've been kind of out of control. So we'll talk about those, maybe listen to some more records, uh, talk more about my setup, maybe tell you about this record rail behind me and some of the items that are on it that are even more recent pickups. So thank you again for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like this video. Also feel free to comment. Tell me what you've been picking up.